today we're making and standardizing a solution of thiosulfate. To begin, we have 500 milliliters of DI water, and we're going to be adding 2.4 grams of sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate. And next, we're going to add 0.1 grams of sodium carbonate, and this is going to raise the pH and reduce the reaction of thiosulfate with the air. We're going to shake it, mix well. All right, and now we're going to add some of our solution to the burette to prep it. Only a little bit, about five milliliters. Make sure some goes to the bottom. All right, next we're going to make a standardized solution. So I'm going to add 10 milliliters of potassium iodate. Bring it over here. And next we're going to add 15 milliliters of DI water. I'm going to go back over here. And next we're going to add one milliliter of potassium iodine. Back over here. And we're gonna add between one and two milliliters of phosphoric acid. That's really about one and a half milliliters. And last, we're going to add three drops of ammonium molybate. And next, we will titrate. I just filled up the burette with the thiosulfate sulfate solution. Now we're going to begin our titration using the standardizing solution. Slowly open the burette until you get a slow stream of drops and constantly swirl the solution into a pale yellow color. Once the solution is pale yellow, add three to five drops of the starch indicator. Are you sure? See, I think that... You notice immediate color change, swirl it around to mix it. Continue titrating drop wise until the solution is clear. Record your final reading on the burette. So for our first run, we started off at 0.5 milliliters. Our final reading was 11 milliliters, which makes the net volume of the uh, titrant used 10.5. And in run two, we started out at 2 milliliters, went down to 12.4, that gives us 10.4. So adding those two together, dividing by two, you get the net average, which is 10.45 milliliters. Now we're trying to find the molarity of our solution. We're given this equation and we need to find moles of potassium iodide, which we're given the concentration and we're given the volume, so we come out with that. You plug that in to this, you end up with 3 times 10 to the negative fourth moles of S2O3. You divide that by the average of the two runs in liters and you come out with our molarity, which is 0.03.